Good morning. I'm here to talk to you about local and sustainable foods and why they make me happy. First, let's talk about what I mean. Yeah. Uh, what, what I mean by local and sustainable. First, local. Well, I could give you an artificial definition of 250 miles around Savannah, but really, I think this better illustrates what local is. <laughs> a bunch of carrots and a bag of carrots. The bunch of carrots came within 50 miles of Savannah, picked them up at the farmer's market. The bag of carrots came from Washington State. Now, 50 miles versus 2,800 miles to get those carrots to me. What makes me very happy about buying local is that we don't have to use that energy and create all those greenhouse gases to get those carrots to my plate. Now, what do I mean by sustainable? Sustainable agriculture is the agriculture which celebrates ecological principles. And what I mean by that is that it builds up the land, it doesn't degrade the land. What I mean by that is that um, you have a variety of crops rather than a monoculture. You have uh, a minimum use of water. You have use of only organic fertilizers, and you don't use pesticides. Now, we can apply the same principle of sustainability to raising animals. Now, you can call it free range, you can call it uh, grass-fed, you can call it pastured, but it all means the same thing. What it means is animals who are raised in an environment that's natural to them. They eat their natural foods and not force-fed corn. They are um, able to roam around. Uh, that means that they're very healthy, uh, which means they don't have to have hormones and they don't have to have antibiotics. And they, um, are, the waste that they produce goes back into the ground to, to build up the soil, to build up the grass that they eat, and not forming these huge pools of waste that pollute both the land and the water. And that makes me very happy that we don't have that pollution. Now, everybody knows carrots. Carrots are natural. They don't need a label. Processed foods need a label. <laughs> and a very long label with all sorts of things on it because it's totally artificial. Now, everybody knows what these are. These are? Carrots. Yeah. Everybody knows what these are. These are? No. <laughs> These actually are two very common preservatives that go into processed foods. Now, I'm particularly excited about and happy about um, local and sustainable foods because of healthy, because I like to eat healthy foods. Um, this is a study actually from a couple years ago that showed that um, uh, locally and sustainably grown, uh, they use the word organic, um, I don't use the old word because government has gotten into that word, but um, the, uh, oh, they use the word organic, uh, had much more nutrients in them than conventionally grown fruits and vegetables. Uh, this didn't make the press. The one that made the press was the one from last year, uh, which did not show that. Uh, by the way, it was from a lab at Stanford that was sponsored by a $3 million grant right the year before from Cargill who's the largest producer of processed foods. Did that have an effect? Mm. But anyways, uh, what they showed, uh, they didn't show that difference, but they did show that um, organically grown produce has lower levels of toxic bacteria on them than conventionally grown. And they showed that people who eat organically grown fruits and vegetables have lower pesticide levels in their bodily fluids than do uh, people who eat conventionally grown produce. Now, healthy also means the animals that we eat. Uh, I'm not a vegetarian, I'll tell you right now. Um, I love my steak. But um, the, the, pro the uh, produce is healthier, we already know that, but we also know that the animals are healthier too because uh, free-range chickens and uh, pastured uh, pork and beef, they all have higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids, which are the good fatty acids. 
And what makes me most happy about uh, local and sustainable foods is the taste. Because you go to a supermarket and buy their chicken, that thing is tasteless. But you buy free-range chicken or their eggs, and, and it's so rich and sweet, just a little salt and pepper, and ah, heaven. Now, it's not just my opinion, by the way. There actually is an article in the literature that supports that. Um, now, one of the things is, is infectious organisms in food. And so how does that food get to us? And the, the number of people it goes through to get to us indicates, uh, is a good indicator of how infectious organisms get into that food. Now, uh, the pathway to the plate of this bag of carrots goes from some people plant it, different people harvest it, uh, different people will box it, ship it to the processor. Several groups of people at the processor will uh, trim it, shape it, uh, wash it with some uh, chlorine solution, bag it, ship it off to the grocery store, and it's handled there, and I, finally I pick it up. This bunch of carrots, they'll be handed to me by the farmer who raised them and harvested them at the farmer's market. And who are these people? They're my neighbors. They live around me. That makes me particularly happy because of the fact that when you go to the grocery store and you buy some fruits and vegetables, less than 20 cents out of the dollar you spend on those fruits and vegetables go to the farmer. With processed foods, it's less than a nickel. But when I hand that dollar over to the farmer at the farmer's market, I know that farmer's getting a dollar, a full dollar of my food dollar. And, um, and where does that dollar go? Back into the local economy because they're my neighbors. But you, too, can be as happy as I am about e eating local and sustainable food. Because you can tomorrow go to an, over to the Forsyth Park Farmer's Market, right? You can be involved in community-supported agriculture, CSAs. You can go to restaurants which buy locally. You can actually go out to the farm and purchase uh, food from the farm itself. And you can get involved in the slow food movement. Now, honesty time, do I eat 100% local and sustainable foods? No. Uh, I have beverages, have uh, um, various sauces you can see here, and yes, I eat, some, uh, I, I eat a variety of processed foods. I do, honestly. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better, and that makes me happy. In fact, what really makes me happy is that I've found some locally grown... <laughs> Fresh-picked Doritos. Thank you.